Uh, Secretary, uh, you are a member, isn't it, that the Secretary is also a member of the IATF? Yes, Your Honor, that's true. Yes, and and that, that is why uh, the contact tracing is also with the DILG. So let me first uh, discuss this issue very briefly, uh, Mr. Mr. President, uh, as a follow-up to Senator Kiko Pangilinan earlier. Uh, Mr. President, is there a budget for contact tracing next year in the DALG budget? Uh, not specifically for contact tracing, Your Honor, Un in, unlike what we put in Bayanian 2. There is no similar item, Your Honor. So there is none? No, there is none, Your Honor, yes. Okay. And today, under Bayanihan 2, we only started only for one quarter, and that's uh, 50,000. Is that correct? We're hiring roughly correct, about, Your Honor. That's correct. about 50,000, no? and we provided 5 billion, and that includes training and, and whatever equipment necessary for the contact tracers. So what happens once that fund is uh, depleted? What happens to the contact tracers, uh, Mr. President? Your Honor, they are, well, they have been trained. That's the good thing. Uh, as well as the contact tracers who work for the local government units, uh, according to the PNP, there are over 200,000. They have also been trained. So the hope is uh, the LGUs will be able to absorb the trained personnel uh, who have been uh, supervised and given training by the DILG, Your Honor, so that uh, uh, they can continue to do their work under the auspices of the uh, respective LGUs. Yeah, but that is the hope. <laughs> okay, that is the point I'm trying to drive out here. No, uh, in fact, there is no mandate for the LGUs to do the contact tracing. Is that correct? That's correct, Your Honor. It's it's a ad hoc uh, reaction uh, on our on the country's part, given the emergency. Right. So, in effect, are we abandoning uh, our duty to do contact tracing? Are we changing strategy? Uh, according to the secretary, they are not uh, abandoning it, Your Honor, but uh, they will continue to supervise the LGUs who have uh, also hired contact tracers of their own, as well as uh, the PNP, as well as the BFP or the Bureau of Fire Protection. They are frontline, uh, also frontliners in the fight against COVID, and they will continue in uh, performing their respective tasks, Your Honor. You know, I don't know about the LGUs hiring contact tracers, no? Uh, Mr. President, dahil wala, konti rin yung pera na lang ng LGU, malaki na lang na gasto sila for this year, particularly, let's say, also in the province of Batangas, kasi tinamaan din ng uh, Taal Volcano. Yeah. So their local revenues next year will be less than years this year, uh, including uh, uh, local revenues because of the pandemic. Babagsak ang revenue, similar to the national government din eh. Yes, Your Honor. I think that's the expectation. There's really... It right. take a while before it, well, uh, did, it recovers. Did the TALG submit a budget to the DBM for contact tracers? They did not submit. Uh, it was not part of their 2021 submission, Your Honor. So there was no submission. Okay. Yes, what they submitted was uh, to us during the Bayanihan 2 deliberations, Your Honor. They made that specific request. Uh, they and the IATF made that specific request for 5 billion pesos, Your Honor. Yes. Now... Uh, and it would appear to me, kung walang budget for contact tracing, it would appear that we're abandoning it. Walang pondo rin ng LGU for that. Maybe the cities in Metro Manila. Uh, hindi naman siguro full abandonment, but uh, it is a, it's, in a sense, it is a scaling back, uh, Your Honor, uh, given uh, that uh, there is no continuity for the 50,000. But uh, perhaps uh, we can ask them to estimate how many LGUs could uh, absorb the 50,000, Your Honor. Uh, if, if we seek a full continuity uh, with what we have provided under Bayanihan 2. Yes. Now, now, now let, let me put it this way, uh, uh, Mr. President. No? Uh, is the Secretary aware of how many we tested yesterday as far as COVID is concerned, being a member of the IATF? We, we, will, we will get the data, Your Honor. We... Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, we tested roughly 15,000 yesterday. Would that be more or less correct? 15, 15,000. Uh, that's correct, according to the Secretary, Your Honor. And how many tested positive yesterday of the 15,000? 5% uh, positive. I got the figure for November 15. It's uh, almost 21,000 uh, tested, Your Honor. And for yes, positive thanks. results, 1,095 for yesterday, Your Honor. 
So one nine over how many? Twenty five thousand. Twenty one. Twenty one. Oh, so five percent ang positivity rate according to study. No, it's 5%. higher. It's higher. 5%. No, I I saw the latest. Uh, it's one nine over twenty one thousand, diba? So a little less than ten percent. Eleven percent. Oh, one thousand nine. The one nine. Yeah, uh, one. I I uh, want to. Want to say it's 1,095, Your Honor, not 1,095. Oh, yeah. uh, 1,095, okay. 5%. 1,000, huh? Okay. Over 20,900, Your Honor. Okay, so for yesterday, mababa 5%. Would the, would the Secretary know what our R not is right now? Which one, Your Honor? The R not. 0.93, Your Honor. So it's below 1? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, so that's a good sign, no? If it's below 1, no? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Now, uh, that means pababa. If it's more than 1%, assuming it were two, you, some will infect two others. Eh? Yes, Your Honor. That's correct. So it's so first time we're below one. It's a downward uh, uh, sign. Okay. But then we all know that also in Europe and in the U.S., there is a second or third wave. No, We hope that doesn't come to pass in the Philippines. No? My, yes, my concern Your here is that uh, one, we had a discussion yesterday on the vaccines, okay? Yes, and today we had a discussion also earlier on the contact tracing, okay? Yes, yes, Your Honor. Assuming you had 1,000 today or yesterday positive, that means you need to contact trace roughly about 30,000, diba? Right? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Okay? And that 30,000 you need to test immediately, as much as possible. That's their. That's their. Uh, that's within a the matter idea. of hours, is their okay. policy, Your Honor. Yeah. And our testing capacity today, the nawala yung Red Cross, para kalahati na lang, or two thirds of. Yes, yes, Your Honor. This decrease somewhat. Deba. Okay. Yes, Your Honor. So uh, my worry is that if we abandon, uh, because of the four point five trillion budget next year, there is no amount of money for contact tracing. Wala po, wala po. There is none. Okay. So I don't know if that's wise no? to abandon contact tracing immediately. Yes, so, yeah, the gentleman has a point, Your Honor. Mr. Yes, President. I just wanted to uh, put that on record. No? Mabuti na yung uh, naninigurado tayo at marami naman ang walang trabaho ngayon. E di mabuti nagbibigay din naman tayo ng trabaho. And uh, with the mission of uh, ensuring habang wala pa yung... Uh, uh, vaccine that we continue to do what, what we're doing and to reduce that are not. Yes, uh, it would be good to move it downwards even further, Your Honor. Diba? Okay. So let let me leave that aside for the moment, uh, Mr. President. So there is no budget no, for contact tracing next year. 